My name is Nick Knudsen. Uh, I'm a pitcher at Greensboro College, and uh, this is what's in my baseball bag. All right, first thing I got is uh, my glove. As a pitcher, this is the most important part. Can't pitch without a glove. Um, I got this glove at the Rawlings store in Myrtle Beach. If you've never been to a Rawlings factory store or somewhere like that, you need to go. It's awesome. Um, it's a pro preferred. Uh, I just wanted it because there was like some sort of factory defect. It looked mint condition to me, but it was not considered pro preferred and I got it for 250 bucks, which is extremely cheap for a pro preferred glove. So I had to buy it and uh, I love this thing. It's an awesome pitching glove. Uh, I started out as an infielder's glove, but I use it as a pitcher's glove. As you can see, there's openings here, but uh, who cares? I still like it. Uh, kind of awesome. Uh, next thing I got is my cleats. I actually just bought these a couple days ago um, because my old cleats had a hole like right in the toe. Uh, and I, I like these a lot. I tried them on, they're super comfortable. Uh, one thing about my cleats is they're a little bit smaller than the normal shoes I would wear because I like my cleats to be real snug fit around my feet. I don't like my feet moving around in my cleats. Um, it's just a preference thing. I don't know if it really does anything for me. Um, got a lot of waters here. Uh, one thing for me in training in all types is I like to stay hydrated at all times. I think that's super, super important is to be hydrated. Uh, that's just one of the most important parts of my training. Uh, so let's open up here. Um, as a pitcher, gotta have the J-Bands. Uh, if you don't have a pair of J-Bands or bands like these, you need to get them because you just they're great for warming up. There's really nothing better than getting some band work in. Next up, we got uh, got the elbow guard. Back in my hitting days, used to wear this all the time. Uh, as a PO, don't get to hit too much anymore, but keep it on there. Just you know, never know when your opportunity might come about. We got sunscreen here. Um, it's not like your sunscreen and rosin, like cheating stuff. Uh, I just get sunburned, so I like to put sunscreen on so I don't get sunburned out on the mound, especially on really hot days. Next, we got the speaker. Um, on a day on the field like this, you gotta have the speaker. Uh, just music is awesome. You gotta have the speaker on deck. And we got plyo balls. Um, got the full set, green, red. Got the black one, the yellow one. And I can find it in here, the gray one. Got the blue one, but uh, throwing plyos earlier, it went through the fence and it, it's still sitting over there. So I gotta go get that one, but I, I do have the full set. Did that go through? That went through. How? <laughs> That's impressive. I literally had to throw it. Look, it doesn't even fit through. I don't even know how that went through. Uh, depending on the day, I'll use different types of plyos. I don't always use all six. Sometimes I will. Uh, it just kind of depends on if I'm looking to get a full plyo ball workout in or if I'm just trying to warm up my arm. Uh, next we got we got the massage gun. Um, bought this for like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's not like the super nice ones that you can buy, but I think it does a great job at you know getting your tight muscles worked out, getting any knots you have worked out because you, you really don't want to start throwing if you've got tight muscles because that's just asking for an arm injury. So I think this is something awesome that everybody should at least try and invest in. This one's not super expensive. Um, and then we got we got the we got the towel for towel drills. Um, if I'm ever doing any sort of drills with a towel, I keep this. It's actually a, a neck gaiter, but I turned it into a towel. Works the same same sort of principle. Um, and then we have arm sleeve. Um, I don't always wear an arm sleeve, but occasionally, you know, 
it's a nice thing to have, especially if you're not pitching, you know, just keeps the compression down, kind of cool to wear. And last but not least, we got some miscellaneous baseball sticking in here. These are some pretty bad ones. Probably wouldn't throw with these, might chuck them in the woods or something, but they're just sitting in the bottom of the bag. Um, then we got the front pocket, which is what I like to call my medical pocket. Uh, we got Advil, or what I like to call arm candy. Uh, we got the pain relieving cream. Uh, this stuff is uh, super strong, and uh, if you're hurting, it, it'll make it hurt more, and then it'll make it hurt less, which is awesome. Then we got the BioFreeze, which is the little less strong version of that. If the arm's not hurting too bad, but you know you want to still put something on there, I go with the BioFreeze. And then uh, we just got a pack of gum. This one's old, but usually I like to keep a pack of gum on deck just to chew it in the dugout. Um, I'm not a big seeds guy, more of a gum guy, but you know, seeds are cool too. Never gonna turn them down. And then, we have anything else here? Last thing we got in here is the lacrosse ball. Uh, when I don't have the massage gun, or even when I do, sometimes it's good to just roll out with the lacrosse ball, really gets deep in there. and. It's, it's just a good thing to have in a bag. I think lacrosse balls are good. Um, then we got this. Uh, this is not technically mine, but I do have it. Uh, I work for a perfect game uh, running diamond casts on the weekends. And uh, I have a tournament this weekend, and they let me hold on to the radar gun and the iPad. Um, so it's a pretty cool thing to have. Uh, you get to see your velo, and this is one of the expensive ones. It's not the pocket radar, but like I said, not mine, so I didn't pay for it. But yeah, it's... Uh, Pretty top of the line type stuff. Uh, it's awesome for bullpen days and stuff like that, just to kind of see where you're at. Uh, wish I was a flamethrower, maybe one day. Right now, not throwing super hard, but uh, hopefully by the end of my college career, I'll be chucking it up with the big guys. Seventy six. And I think that's pretty much it.